We're back with you live here at the scene of a double fire here at the 1,000 block of Northwest Jackson here in the North Topeka. We're just probably keeping here live for a few short minutes. Wanted to give you an update. You see the smoke still rising from this old apartment building here at 1039 Northwest Jackson. Building caught fire actually as a result of the two-story wooden frame house just to the south of it catching fire right around 640 this morning. A neighbor here named Cheryl Evans said she called in the fire after she smelled smoke in her home right across the street. Crews got here to find heavy smoke and flames coming from that house. Quickly, that fire spread to the apartment just to the next, uh, to the north, I should say. That distance is only about four or five feet. These houses were built way back in the, probably the late 1800s, early 1900s. And uh, these fires have, uh, uh, these houses are so close together that uh, you could almost stick your hand out a window of your house and shake the hands with somebody else in the next door house. So these houses and these buildings are so close together. Uh, we see a new number of uh, fire trucks here. We have the aerial right here going. Again, putting out this fire. They look like they were letting it burn for a moment, but now it looks like they're attacking this fire once again. We're sorry for the video. I'm going to be using my still, my, uh, still photography here in a moment too, so bear with me. But again, now this house, as you can see, is so close, so close to the house, that, uh, to the building that burned. But the, the house here that you see uh, right here where they're spraying into the uh, upper eaves and attic area, this is the house where we believe the fire actually started. Then it moved over here to the side of this uh, two-story wooden building here that you're seeing now where the aerial unit is attacking with the water going inside the upper floor. Smoke still coming out of both of these two structures. Um, we just had a rash of fires here in Topeka lately. As I said, a, a co-worker just uh, yesterday here at the Capitol Journal here in Topeka said, we've sure seen a lot of fires lately. I said, we really have. Usually at this time of year, we just don't see this many, many fires. We, we see a lot of fires in usually the colder winter, uh, colder weather months. Of course, fires could happen anytime, any place. We know that. But uh, again, uh, we've had uh, the Fairline Green Apartment fire, which was a big fire back about uh, middle of July there at 21st in Fairlawn in southwest Topeka. We had uh, uh, a fire that saved the life of a woman about two and a half weeks ago in the 3400 block of southeast Indiana. We had another fire that claimed the lives of three people. That fire intentionally set a week ago Monday in the 1300 block of southwest Buchanan. Uh, we had two other fires already this week, uh, vacant houses, one I believe in the 400 block of southeast Leland overnight Monday, late Monday night, and then the other occurring about uh, 2 o'clock in the morning on Wednesday uh, during a thunderstorm when uh, crews uh, had to fight that blaze. Uh, investigators believe that the fire on early Wednesday morning occurred as a result of a, of a uh, lightning strike. The fire on Leland uh, was really intentionally set. No determination on these parts, and it's going to be hard to probably really get a handle on these with the destruction and damage on these two buildings. But I'm sure the fire investigators will be here. And again, neighbors said that these apartments, these, or I should say these structures, were vacant. Uh, the building on the left, the couple was boarded up. No power, no uh, electricity, gas, or water service. The same with the apartment building here, the two-story wooden apartment building on the right here, which we're looking at right now. And we do know, or we were told that people occasionally that were homeless would come in here and stay overnight. Again, you know, the, the hope and the prayer is nobody was in there to uh, uh, have any injuries or uh, any type of uh, problems. We hope these were indeed vacant, in other words. And so we'll find out more about this here shortly. Again, we've got neighbors and folks here looking on. And we've got looking down to the south here on the 1,000 block of south northwest Jackson. Again, we're about two blocks uh, north and west of the Inoka Art District. And uh, again, now you see the place really being put out big time here on the house where we came over here. It's amazing. Oh, oh, here we go. You saw it live, folks. That building collapsed right here. It's like the bottom line. We came in. We hope and pray it doesn't get to the house to the next door here to the, to the uh, south. Because that house we believe is occupied. The roof you just saw collapse live here. And again, uh, this structure is, is uh, going to be a smoldering heap of wet wood here shortly. But again, it's going to take a while to get it out. It's going to take a long while to get this fire completed. Now you see the fire crews uh, attempting to keep that fire.
Empire continue to have their food in the South. So bear with me here as I get a few skills to take some strain here if I can. attacking this fire right now, trying to make sure it does not spread to this house on the, on the south. It's a tall yellow, uh, looks like a bungalow, if you will. Back to the I see a second floor on that house there. So we've been hoping that it doesn't spread back there. So the crews are working very hard to get this fire, make sure it's out and it doesn't spread. And then if it can collapse on the interior, then that would be the preferable way so that all the goods are just fly over to the house and it's being lived in next door. If we leave that house, it's being lived in. Now the aerial unit spread from that location right there in the intersection of Northwest Fairchild and Jackson down to the apartment building. The fire crews here with the hoses from the Speaker Fire Department that have been hooked up to hydrants. They are using uh, those hoses and that water to attack this fire at this moment here at the house. talking to some of the neighbors, some of the, stand, the people standing by here at the scene. We're right across the street. There's fire again. Looks like they're trying to bring this chimney down. They're still standing after the rest of the roof has collapsed here at this house. Again, we don't have the exact address, but it's possibly, a, um, we're guessing, uh, maybe 1037, we, we believe, because the house two doors down is 1033. That would be the house next door. Actually, the yellow house is 1035. So, yes, that would be 1037 because the other structure is pink 39. We're still alive here. You're going to hear things maybe that, again, we can't control everything that you hear, but again, we want to bring this to you alive here from North Topeka this morning. So about 7 a.m., I believe, on uh, Tuesday morning, or Thursday morning, excuse me, Thursday morning, September 1st, 2016. We are alive here in 1,000 block of North West Jackson. This house is 1035 North West Jackson, already destroyed by fire. And they're trying to bring this chimney down, we believe. You can see it's leaning slightly to the left. And again, the house uh, the, the house of 1035 North West Jackson right here in front of us. That house then, the fire from there spread to the building to the uh, north. That's 1039 North West Jackson. And so both of these uh, buildings are complete losses. Um, we don't believe anybody was inside either. We believe both were vacant, but again, we're trying to see exactly what the determination is here in terms of what caused this fire. And that may not come for a while. Uh, if these buildings were indeed vacant, no power, no electricity, what caused the fire? Well, it's going to be up to the fire investigators to determine that. And at this point, um, I cannot figure out seen the fire investigators come out here. I'm sure they're on their way if they're not here. It could be over on Fairchild. I noticed a little bit ago there were some uh, 
people over there with the fire for so, Yeah, there goes the chimney. So the chimney's now down. And I think they did it pretty good. They were trying to keep it from going to the adjacent south. Firefighter above here on the aerial, you'll see it on the south side. Even though he's on the north east side, he is certainly uh, hitting it, that chimney on the south east side so that it would fall back to the uh, west and not go crashing straight south and hit possibly the occupied house here. Or the house is still being lived in, I should say, at 1035. Uh, <coughs> so the yellow house is 1035. <coughs> Excuse me, get a little smoke inhalation here. Get out here for a little bit. That's the best in a mask at some point. You can go out and use fire. Um, that may help get this fire control knocking that chimney down. And again, uh, we see lots of firefighters out here. Uh, neighbors are still here looking on. on this right now. The smoke continues to come out. We'll see if we can't get a report soon from the uh, fire, one of the fire chiefs, the battalion chiefs. I did notice uh, several of the high-ranking fire officials are here on the scene. We'll see what they wants to speak with us. But again, uh, a lot of people are standing by at this hour. And this is currently again at the working uh, south on the so this is coming around 6.40 a.m. on Thursday, September 3rd, 2016. People are writing here wondering what the address is. The house that burned initially 1035 Northwest Jackson. The, I should say, excuse me, 1037 Northwest Jackson. We believe there's no address on it. However, the reduction of the different houses on either side would indicate 1037 Northwest Jackson. You know, the big apartment building here, or the tall building, I should say, uh, that also caught fire, 1039 Northwest Jackson. So we are at the southwest corner of Northwest Fairchild and Northwest Jackson here in North Eco. The, the temperature is down today. It, it's not as hot as it has been, not as humid. Still a concern for the firefighters. You can see they're being evaluated over here right now. Uh, their safety is of a concern, obviously, the heat is in I just uh, read, I just saw a fire marshal Mike Martin on the scene. So stay with us. So I'm just going to go ahead and give you another couple of glimpses here, and then I'll be back on Facebook Live shortly. Again, we are at the house fire, a double fire actually. One 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 building catching another on fire, occurring about 6:40 a.m. on Thursday, September 1st, 2016. Here, the fire originating at 10:37 Northwest Jackson, right here, the spring of this building at 10:39 Northwest Jackson. We'll be back shortly. This is Phil Anderson reporting for North Topeka for CJOnline.com.